Hi everyone, welcome back to Daily Transfer News and Rumours on Fancy Football. Thanks for supporting Fancy Football by keeping the subscription and likes coming. The Premier League title has now been decided and Manchester City has emerged as champions on the final day. Send your comment in the comment section of this video. Let's dive into the latest transfer news and rumours. Congratulations Manchester City for winning the English Premier League this season and also becoming the first English side to win the title four times in a row. City were crowned champions on the final day of the season with a 3-1 victory over West Ham. Pep Guardiola is now the first manager to win the Premier League four times in a row. Pep Guardiola's most recent English Premier League victory brings his total to six, matching the feats of Bob Paisley of Liverpool and George Ramsey of Aston Villa. Only Sir Alex Ferguson, with 13, has more. City's goal is to become the first team to win the domestic double in back-to-back -back seasons on May the 25th. Since joining City in 2016, Guardiola has taken home a total of 17 titles. Bayer Leverkusen wrapped up the first unbeaten Bundesliga season with a two. One victory over Augsburg on the last day of play. They are now the first side in Europe's top five men's leagues to go undefeated in a season since Juventus in 2011-2012. After Sunday's season-ending match, Chelsea manager Mauricio Pochettino refused to provide a firm response when asked about his future at Stamford Bridge. Speaking to reporters, the Argentine said, I'm really happy, but the questions on future are for owners and directors, not me. On Friday night, Todd Bailey invited me for dinner and it was a nice dinner together. I don't know about the rumours. West Ham is expected to name Julian Lopetegui as their new manager later this week. The Hammers' top pick to succeed departing manager David Moyes is the former coach of Real Madrid and Spain. With the Premier League season being concluded, Lopetegui will be able to assume leadership for pre-season commencement which will involve a two-week trip to the United States for games against Wolves and Crystal Palace. Lopetegui's contract will be signed. Manchester United values winger Jadon Sancho at £56 million, which is about 75% of the transfer fee they paid for him four years ago. If Borussia Dortmund wants to re-sign Sancho, they will have to meet United's asking price he will have to accept a pay cut from his current £275,000 a week salary. The winger wants a permanent return to Dortmund after a sparkling loan spell for the Champions League finalists. Inter Milan striker Lautaro Martinez revealed that he has yet to sign a new deal with the Serie A champions. However, he expects to reach an agreement in the coming week. Speaking Fabrizio Romano, the forward said, I don't know what's going to happen. This upcoming week, we, club and player side, have to find an agreement. Gallagher's current contract with Chelsea expires in 2025, and the two are no closer to reaching an agreement on a new one. If they cannot reach an agreement with the England stars' camp about an extension, they face the possibility of losing him on a free transfer after the following campaign. Aston Villa and Tottenham have been linked to Gallagher, who the Blues may sell to comply with Premier League Profit and Sustainability Regulations (PSR). Real Madrid midfielder Aurelien Chouameni will not be fit in time for the final of the Champions League. The France international is still struggling with a foot injury. Liverpool is expected to challenge Manchester United for the signature of Bayer Leverkusen defender Odilon Kosunu. Although the 23-year-old is reportedly being pursued by other European clubs, including Bayern Munich and Real Madrid, the Reds are now in the race to sign him. It is understood Ryan Sessegnon will leave Tottenham Spurs as a free agent at the end of this season. Spurs acknowledge that it is time to part ways with the left full-back. There are already plenty of interest across England and Europe for Sessegnon, but the player's preference is to stay in the Premier League ahead of next season. David Raya is hoping to seal a permanent transfer to Arsenal. He isn't taking anything for granted, even though the Gunners are expected to exercise their summer option to purchase him outright from Brentford for £27 million. 
Raya became Arsenal's third Premier League Golden Glove winner, following in the footsteps of Peter Cech and Wojciech Szczesny. At the Emirates, he is also Mikel Arteta's top pick right now, ahead of England international Aaron Ramsdale. Real Madrid is reportedly interested in signing Alexis McAllister, a standout midfielder for Liverpool in this summer transfer window. To replace ageing stalwarts Luka Modric and Tony Cruz, Los Blancos are looking for strong midfield options. The World Cup winning Argentina player played for the Reds in 45 games this season across all competitions, contributing seven assists and six goals. Thank you for watching our videos and kindly remember to subscribe to our channel, like, share and comment on our videos. Goodbye.